this time I draw your attention to the words of God in St. Matthew's 9th chapter, the 20th verse, which read as follows. Behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood to her bears came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. But Jesus turned him about. When he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. This afternoon, loved ones, you have listened to the words of God, telling you that Jesus Christ is a great divine healer. And he is the same today as he was when he was on earth. This woman was the issue of blood. She had been to many doctors. She could not be healed. When she heard of Jesus, then she came to him by faith, pressing her way through the crowd. She touched the hem of his garment, and immediately she was made whole because virtue had left our Lord. When our Lord realized virtue had left him, then he turned around and he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. You too today, a man can be sick. No matter what is your complaint, if the doctors even give you over, then you too can touch Jesus Christ today by faith. And you can be made whole. He's just the same. There is no failure in him. So wherever you are, wherever is your complaint, if you're feeling pain at this time, you just put your hands where your complaint is. And touch Jesus by faith. As I pray this prayer faith for you, you too can be touched by the hands of Jesus. Hallelujah. And you shall be made whole. Our Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, this afternoon, Lord God, we read in our words, by your stripes we are healed. No Touch way. your people now, Jesus. Touch them one by one. Let the healing breath flow. Give complete deliverance by your power and by your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. In Jesus' name.
lifted the drain of this living water. Your soul will be quenched. Your soul will be revived. Get your thirst quenched at this time. Because Jesus is standing right here to offer you living water. God bless you. Loved ones, at this time I take great pleasure in presenting to you the speaker of the hour, Evangelist Higgins from White House, Westmoreland, to speak to you now in Jesus' name. In the first book of Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 61 to 58 declares, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Oh yes, this is a must. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, 
and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this great movement takes place in the lives of God's chosen people, there shall be victory over death. For when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same that is written, Death is swallowed up to be victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. My beloved brothers and sisters, this is a true saying. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. That is the wages of sin is death, and the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, O Lord. Behold, the day of the Lord draws nigh, and ye shall all stand before God at the judgment seat to give an account for all the deeds done in our bodies. Oh yes, God's word is true. His people shall be changed, caught up to meet him in the air, and so shall we be ever with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. All the saints will not die, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we who are alive shall go, not go ahead of those that are dead. For the trumpet shall sound, for the voice of the archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise first from the grave. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. Oh yes, this is the great mystery of God. Thanks be unto God. Which given us the victory to our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and move ever, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as he knows that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. O oh, Heavenly Father and our Savior Jesus Christ, O oh, God, this moment, Lord, your servant look up to thee. Lord, we thank you for this moment. We look forward, Lord, for the day when you shall condescend in the clouds to rapture the church of Jesus Christ, which is your body. Oh, prepare the hearts of your people. Oh, make us ready. Oh, sanctify us, Lord. And give us the victory. And give us the mind to continue. So that when you appear in glory, we too shall be saved. Caught up to meet in glory to be with you. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.